hast not yet seen a truly virtuous nation. Some people say that she was really the moral force behind the women's suffrage movement. She was what got Elizabeth Cady Stanton involved um, to begin with because she was much older. She and her husband were both Quaker ministers in Philadelphia and leaders in the abolitionist movement. She was so ardent in her beliefs that she refused to wear cotton clothing or use sugar in her home because both were produced with slave labor. Um, at the Seneca Falls Convention, there was one resolution that was controversial, and that was the resolution that, that would allow women to vote. And Lucretia Mott even was opposed to this because Quakers did not believe in voting because they did not want to participate in what they thought was an illegitimate government that sanctioned slavery and waged war because they were pacifists, first of all, and abolitionists, of course. So um, it took a while for the delegates to be persuaded at that Seneca Falls Convention to vote in favor of that resolution. And it didn't pass until the esteemed abolitionist Frederick Douglass stood up and spoke in its favor. And then it narrowly passed. Degree.